Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are going to be doing an idea which one of you guys commented actually um, I think it was maybe last week or the week before so yeah we're going to be doing what if the four moons of Jupiter so the four Galilean moons so Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto we're going to put them to the exact same radius as Jupiter all four of them and we're going to see what chaos chaos happens because this should get pretty interesting so we're going to head to Jupiter now and yes let's go ahead and add these guys and actually what i'm getting set up guys i think we're almost at um 2200 subscribers now so yeah let's see if we can get that soon because that, that'd be pretty cool so let me just check right now we are currently at 2182 so maybe we can try and get that um before the end of the week that'd be pretty cool but anyways let's go to io here and let's make it the radius of jupiter so quick way of doing this instead of entering a big number for the radius if we just go to jupiter here and just put it to one like that and there you go. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Okay, and that's only one of them. So you, then we've got Europa. So we're going to go with you as well. So then we're going to make you one Jupiter, like so. Oh, this is this is going to get mad. Uh, Ganymede. So go to you as well. So the largest moon in the solar system. So let's go and do one of those. One Jupiter. Oh my. It's got more mass than Jupiter. Jupiter may not survive this. And then we've got Callisto. So, right. So we go to Jupiter. Let's make this guy like that. All right, here we are. Damn, this is insane. Oh my god. So here's Callisto. Looking pretty cool. I still think this texture should be a darker. I'm sure Callisto's a darker grey than that. But oh well. So then we've got Ganymede. Io. So which one of these is actually the largest? Is it? Are they all the same or are they slightly different? So, so oh yeah, no, they're all the same in radius. Which one has the most mass? Sorry. So that's got 318 Earths. So that's one Jupiter. This has got 2.27 Jupiters, so Europa. Actually, let's just do it in mass. There we go. So, Europa's got the most... Or, Io's got the most mass, actually. 2.66. Europa's got 2.27. Or, 2.2... Yeah, 2.27. Ganymede's 1.46. And Callisto is 1.38. So, Jupiter is actually typically smaller than these guys. In, in mass, anyway. Radius is all the same. So, I don't think Jupiter's going to survive this. So, this could get interesting. Just look at this. This is, this is crazy. Can we see it from... Where, where's Ceres at? Let's move Ceres to its closest point to Jupiter. And let's just have a quick peek, see if we can see the moons. So, let's go there. Let's zoom in on this guy. Let's delete the asteroid belt while we're here, because we don't want any lag problems. So, let's go in here. Oh, wow. Okay, so, let's um, do that. And we'll land on the um, this side of Ceres. And the Jupiter objects should be up here somewhere. So, let's see if we can spot them. Can I spot them without having to use the labels? Let's see here. It's quite hard, because they probably are quite small, even though... They are relatively close. The series is fairly is a few AU away, so let's see, is it there? Someone trying to look for four stars really close together, maybe? Come on, are they are they here anywhere? Alright, I can't find them. Alright, let's go on labels. Where are they? So Oh, where am I even looking in the right spot? Okay, where where, where are they? Ah oh, oh okay. So if we just turn it off. You can barely see them, but they are there. If you just look carefully, if you like put your head really really close to the screen this is what i'm doing now you can just see them in the line there yeah but yeah they're not easy to spot so let's go actually back to these guys now and now i'm pretty sure you guys are getting pretty um, unhappy that i haven't hit place so we're gonna go ahead and slow down time a bit because this is probably gonna be happening quite a quick amount of time so we're gonna slow it down to 30 minutes and hit play so let's see what happens oh this is good <laughs> look how fast they're moving it, this is at 30 minutes like oh okay so let's slow down here so we're going to get the first collision between Io and Jupiter. And it's already eaten up some of the little moons. Look, look at those giant craters going on it. All right, so Jupiter. I don't think you're going to survive this, buddy. This object here, Io, has more mass and has the same radius. So I reckon because it has more mass, it's going to win this. So now let's just speed up a little bit more. I can here we go. So Io is now a gas giant because, look, it's actually sucking material from Jupiter because it has more mass. This is all Roosh Limit happening right now. So because it has more mass, it's actually eating some of Jupiter up. So, yeah, but too late. They're going to collide no matter what. So, here we go. Who's, who do you guys think is going to win? Oh, Io. Oh, Jupiter's won. Okay, that, I am very surprised by that. That is very, very surprising. I did not think Jupiter was going to win that. I don't know how it did it, but apparently it did. So now Jupiter's going to get a lot of mass from that. All right, what we got next? So... Guessing Ganymede and, uh, and Europa may have a collision, or unless Europa's already heading towards Jupiter. So let's see here. Jupiter's sort of been pushed out of the way a bit, so Jupiter may be saved from that. Anyways, let's see what's going on here. So Europa's eating up some more debris, or some more moons. Same with um, Ganymede. So if we just look on trails here, 
They get pulled inwards, these outer moons. These moons are really insignificant, though. They're very, very small. They're just tiny little captured rocks on the asteroid belt, I'm assuming. Because, yeah, they're not any moon-sized objects. They're all smaller than Ceres and stuff. So, yeah, these really aren't big at all. So, anyways, let's see what happens here. So, Ganymede versus Europa. Who's going to win this? Ganymede, maybe? Oh, Ganymede's won, apparently, even though Europa was um, larger in mass. Okay, I don't know how that works, but apparently it does. So... Ganymede is now all frozen up because it's eaten um, Europa, so... Oh, now it's a gas strike because it's, it's just eaten the fragments from that Jupiter and Io collision. Oh, and Callisto's heading inwards as well. Oh, wow, look at all these fragments. That's a, that's a ton of explosions. This, this could be pretty good for a thumbnail, actually. Let's see here. Does this look good? I don't know. It's not often I have fragments in a thumbnail, so... Let's just pause it here. Maybe, we could, maybe I should use this. I think this looks pretty cool. How should I do it? I don't know. I don't make thumbnails on um, camera that much, but how about that? Does that look good? Maybe a little closer? Ooh, I think that looks... Does that look good? I don't know. There's a lot... Look at all the fragments. This is this is crazy. Let's see here. I don't know. I hope I'm not wasting you guys' time here, but... How about this stuff? We don't need to have the big objects in the... Um... I may use that, actually. But maybe. I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. Oh, well, I'll get around to it another time. Maybe I'll just reload this simulator or redo this simulation, try and get all the objects in a cool-looking position. I don't know. Anyways, well, Callisto's starting to eat up some of these fragments, so I'm guessing this will turn to a gas giant as well. It's getting a bit of hydrogen, as you can see here, so it could be interesting. Oh, Ganymede's all, um, is all hydrogened up now. But is Jupiter going to actually get out of this, or is it going to get some more punishment? Because I don't know where Callisto's heading. Maybe it's just going to fly by, or is they, are they going to get attracted? It looks like Jupiter's coming back, so let's see what goes on here. Ooh, they're getting close, but are they going to go away? So Jupiter's just done a complete U-turn there, as you can see from the trail. What is Jupiter up to here? Callisto is um, trying to get out now, but oh, it's going for Ganymede. I think I think Jupiter wants some revenge here. Yeah, that looks like they're going to collide, so let's see who wins this. I reckon Ganymede may win this. Uh, 1.53 masses of Jupiter, and this has 3.3. Oh, yeah, Ganymede should surely win. Look how much bigger it is. Yeah, Ganymede is... You can tell just by that, Ganymede is bigger. So... Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Look how, look how small Jupiter is. Okay, let's see here. Okay, um, I am mind blown. I don't know how that worked. I'm guessing it's a bug? A glitch? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I usually did that in the old series where I um, turned objects into stars. For some reason, the larger object always, dis or always just got destroyed for some reason. So, very, very strange. But that's the way it works in this, I guess. So, we'll just have to roll with it. All right, so you see here is Jupiter. Look at all these fragments. That is a ton of stuff. It looks like Callisto's got away scot through without having a collision with anything, really. Any of the other objects. So, damn, that is pretty crazy. So, yeah, and they have just flown off in their own direction. So that does it for this test. But I think we're going to do this again because I want to I see if we can get a different result. So, let's go back here. And this is in real time. Okay. Actually, let's, um, let's do it in the uh, normal solar system. I don't want all the other moons around the other planets as well. So, let's just go ahead and do Control D to get rid of all the asteroids. Now, let's go back here. And there's a glitched object here, as you can see. If you can see this on the right-hand side of the screen, this Mephio me mean thing. I don't know why it's not why it's just stuck there. So let's just go ahead and delete that. I guess pretty weird stuff. So let's go back to Jupiter here. So let's slow down time. Let's see here. So let's go ahead, pause, and then add the moons back. Okay, here we go. So Io, let's make you a radius of one Jupiter again. Let's do that. There we are. Ganymede, the same with you. So let's do this. So let's do that. Europa, as well with you. So we'll probably get the set exact same stats as last time, since I'm doing everything exactly the same way. And then Callisto over here. I want to get Callisto in some of the action. That would be pretty cool. So let's go to Jupiter, and then go one. There we go. Okay, looking good. So let's turn that option off on Jupiter, just to make it all a fair test. So yeah, all the radius is off. So all it's, the only thing that's different between these objects is the mass. And I'm guessing the density is probably quite different. 1.33, Europa's 3.01, Io's 3.53, Ganymede is 1.94, Callisto's 1.83. So yeah, Jupiter's density is the lowest here. So maybe that maybe that plays an effect. I, I don't know. I'm, I, like I said in previous videos quite a long time ago, I am not the smartest on density. So yeah, that's, that's my weak point in this game, I guess. So right, let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, we're in the year 2014. I didn't even realize. That there's time zones? I didn't, I've never seen that before. I've never, I've never even pressed that. So, hit play. Let's see what craziness we can get. So, let's see here. So, I'm guessing Io is going to go for Jupiter again since they are the, clearly the closest. So, let's see what happens here. 
I want I want to get some action with Callista though. Oh, Io's already eating up the same stuff. So same, pretty much exactly the same as last time. But anything different gonna happen here? So, okay, it's completely eaten Io up. Oh, Callisto looks like it may be in some of the action. So Europa looks like it's gonna go for Ganymede, maybe. Or well, maybe Ganymede's gonna go for Jupiter. Oh, Europa's picked up some of that material though. Okay, Ganymede's definitely. I I want to say it's going for Jupiter. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to collide. And then Callisto and Europa maybe as well. Oh, they're getting very close. Looks like they're in like a binary orbit. Looks like we've got two binary orbits going on here almost. So, well, is Ganymede actually going to su like sustain its orbit around Jupiter? Because that seems pretty risky. And Callisto and Europa. Yeah, these guys. So it looks like these guys have sort of... Yeah, they, they formed a binary orbit as well. Look at this. Look what is going on here. <laughs> Look at this. And the whole Jupiter system is wobbling now. Look at all these asteroids and all the other Jupiter moons that are all unstable because of these events. Pretty crazy stuff. But Jupiter and Ganymede are very, very close. If Ganymede or Callisto gets close to... Um, or if Europa and Callisto get close to Jupiter and Ganymede, I reckon a lot of trouble is going to happen. So, let's see here. Is anything going to happen? Oh, Callisto. I really want to see what happens if Callisto gets too close. Oh, oh, and there we go. They've just been pulled. Oh, okay. Oh, and then Callisto's just been ejected again. Oh, my God. This is insane. Oh, Europa and Ganymede very, very close there. So, let's see here. Let's keep it back on trails. So, yeah, look, they're all in like a quadruple sort of system here. But I really don't see how this is going to survive. There's no way this is sustainable. This this is going to break eventually. See, look how close that, look how close that is. That's like, if that was the moon and Earth, Earth would tear the moon apart. Because of how the gravity being too close. You can see these guys are hotter in temperature because of their tidal forces. As, as it gets closer, it heats up. And then as it gets further away, it will gradually cool down. Yeah, so you can see there. And then these guys, because they're further away from each other, they're having less effect. So their temperatures are fluctuating less. Well, it says here, even though it said 4,000, it's still in the orange sort of color, which is pretty weird. But look how close they are. If these guys get too close to these, like this is going to cause some real trouble. So I really want to see these. Like, maybe there? Ooh, that was a very close one. He, as you can see, though, there are surviving a quadruple orbit right now. I'm, I'm very surprised with this. This is pretty pretty weird stuff. So, just look how close they're getting. I really want to see these guys collide. Oh, look how close these are. How is this working? <laughs> how, how does this work? This is this is crazy. Come on, surely they're going to hit sometime. Oh, 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 and there you go. Oh, and it... You see that sort of um, chain reaction there? Because um, I think it was because Callisto hit Ganymede, it bumps Ganymede, or Ganymede into Jupiter. So Jupiter just got a free win there. Ganymede had just taken a collision and it got bumped right into Jupiter there. If you want to check that out again, just put the video back a few seconds. But that was, that was pretty cool. And then Europa gets away scot-free this time. So yeah, they're, they're, that's definitely not coming back. But we I'm pretty surprised with that. We did have a sort of quadruple orbit going for quite a while like it's definitely going for a few hours at least because we're traveling at seven hours a second and we're definitely doing that for a good minute so i reckon over 24 hours pass so not bad 24 hours um quadruple orbit jupiter sized objects that's, that's pretty cool so if we just speed up time now i'm guessing these are all just going to fly away yeah europe europe is definitely gone so what color have we got europe any any interesting color oh it's all broken here though all the colors are all being mixed up it's pretty cool how this this effect is in the game i, I do like that so yeah, that's, that's all gone. So the Jupiter system now is completely ruined. Um, so let's see here, the orbits. So it looks like Europa's stolen some of Jupiter's moons, and also some of the moons are now orbiting the sun. But overall, the solar system doesn't seem affected at all, because this is all happening in Jupiter's territory. So yeah, there's no new super large object or anything, really. So not the orbits will probably be fine. It has got a little more mass, though. But look how deformed Jupiter is, though. Look at this. If we just go ahead and check this guy out. Look at this. Look at all the collisions have just completely messed up all of its clouds. Where's the red spot gone? Is it even still here? Oh, no, the red spot's still there. Okay, cool. Look how, look how um, ruined Jupiter's clouds are. Look at this side. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, poor, poor Jupiter. Anyways, let's um, try the test one more time. But this time, we're going to line all the moons up um, together. So this could be pretty interesting. So let's um, go here again. So let's um, add moons. There we are. All right, so Io... We are going to um, move you first. So let's um, hit, hit, hit play just so it um, speeds up. Okay, so they're orbiting. All right, so let's put Europa, or um, Io, sorry. Let's put Io, let's put it there. And same with Europa. We're going to do the same with you. So we're going to put you in that spot as well. Oh, this is going to get crazy. 
And then um, Ganymede, we're going to move you there. So all in the line of Jupiter, pretty much. And then Callisto. So Callisto's a lot further out, so we we'll definitely get involved less in trouble. So, all right, these guys are all lined up pretty much now. So let's go one Jupiter. Oh, this is, this is going to be crazy. Look, these guys are already going to collide. Well, we're going to play it like that. So we'll go, um, not Earth, Jupiter, please. There we go. Oh, they're gonna be, there's going to be a collision already. Hopefully, Jupiter will get involved in that as well. And then we've got um, one Jupiter. Now, I'm hoping Ganymede will go to Callisto, but I reckon it will go to Europa. So, it'll be like a triple collision in Callisto. So, slow down time. Let's see what happens here. There's a lot, loads of different ways we can play this. So, this is pretty cool. So, play. And they're already colliding. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the moons. And Io has been defeated, it looks like. Oh, poor old Io. It's not getting any luck. Um, right, here we go. So, what's going to happen here? There's four objects left. Who's going to pull who? So it looks like Ganymede's pulling or going towards Europa. Also, Jupiter's going towards Europa. And Callisto, where's Callisto heading? Oh, Jupiter's going against Europa now. So is Callisto heading towards us? Oh, and then, like I predicted, that would happen. So Callisto. Oh, Jupiter has been pushed towards Callisto, though. So we could get... This could be all be over already. So let's see here. Oh, Jupiter's getting all um, deformed and stuff. Come on, surely you're going to collide. Oh, you're so close. Are they orbiting each other now? Maybe, maybe they are. Looks like they are. Let's see here. Are they? Or we just get a close call? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. So, completely flown off. So, yeah, look at that. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Callisto's completely just doing its own thing. It didn't get involved in anything there. Well, it looks like it picked up some water from some of the fragments of Europa, though. Look, look at this. Yeah, it's all frozen now. It's got 0.141% of the whole object is water now. So, yeah, definitely picked up some um, water from Europa's fragments, it seems. So, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. And Jupiter's also got some water from Europa there as well. So, yeah, there you go. And it's all deformed again. So, yeah, what do you guys think of that? So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know um, your thoughts down below. Like, I could do a part two if you've got any different scenarios we could do with the four moons and Jupiter. All right, just let me know. Like, maybe you want me to put them all at the furthest points from Jupiter or, like, the, put them as far away from each other as possible. Like, yeah, just let me know if you guys want a part two because this could be pretty cool with different scenarios. And if you want me to do it with a different planet like um, Uranus or Neptune, the major moons, please don't ask me to do every single moon because there's a lot of them and it will take a while to sell it all up. And yeah, that, that could be that could be trouble. So all of the major moons I'm happy to do, but not not every single moon of all the planets. But yeah, do you want me to do it with Saturn, like Saturn's major moon? Just, just let me know in the comments because it's going to be pretty interesting. We did do something like this a long time ago where we made all of Saturn's moons. I think it was 5,000 kilometers in radius. But this takes it to a whole new level. So yeah, tell me your guys' thoughts in the um, comments because... Should be um, interesting what you have to say with this. This is a pretty cool idea. And also, thanks to the guy who gave the idea as well. So, yeah. That does it for this video, guys. So, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.